Merry Christmas, and I hope that you are enjoying this Christmas morning in the comfort of your own home. If you're visiting with us for the first time, I'm Pastor David Randall Bodman, and this is Bethel Congregational United Church of Christ in Beaverton, Oregon, and we're grateful that you have decided to join us this day. With the help of our, our video expert, Stan Davis, we've created a simple service with some elements that were prepared specifically for today, and some elements that have been pre-recorded from services that we had during the pandemic. I'm delighted that you are taking time away from the traditions that give your Christi Christmas morning a special significance. To be here to lift up and give thanks to the glory of God for pouring out God's own self into that little baby that we have known as Jesus. And that real human being in a particular time and place in history actually changed the way we track history. So it is an incredibly significant event for us to celebrate and give thanks for because what happened is that it revealed a radically inclusive love of God for you and for me and for all people. Last night on Christmas Eve, we lit four Advent candles and the Christ candle. We were remembering our theme for the season, reflecting the sacred. Week one, we celebrated sacred time and connected it with the traditional Advent word, hope. Week two, we celebrated sacred people and connected it with the traditional Advent word, love. Week three, we celebrated sacred places and connected it with the traditional Advent word, joy. Week four, we celebrated sacred knowing and connected it with the traditional word peace. So I'm going to relight those Advent candles and we together will remember the theme of this season. So we light the candle of sacred time, which brings us hope. And we light the candle of sacred people that brings us love. And we light the candle of sacred place that brings us joy. And we light the candle of sacred knowing, which brings us peace. And we light the Christ candle who makes all of these gifts of hope, love, place, and people come alive. Now let us sing the carol, O come all ye faithful. to thee 
I'd like you to join me in this opening prayer, which was written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Let's join our hearts, minds together in prayer. Loving God, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be your children and Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven. For Jesus' sake, amen. And now I invite you to hear a story that paid Jan Angst has chosen a children's Christmas story. But regardless of your age, listen with the innocence and wonder of a child. Please listen as I read The Littlest Christmas Tree, a tale of growing and becoming by Jeannie Jassen. Once upon a time in a field of young Christmas tree seedlings, there stood a tiny tree. Smaller than all the other seedlings, the little tree stood attentively in her row, planted in the soft, sandy soil among the other little trees. This littlest tree wanted to grow tall enough to become a real Christmas tree. As she was growing, the littlest tree decided to think about all the things that make her happy. The first thing she thought of was the sun. I love the sunshine, so warm on my green branches, she said to herself. I can feel it helping me grow tall all summer long. The littlest tree tipped her head and thought some more. And the sky, I love that too. I watch it each day as it changes, some days all cloudy and gray, and some days so clear and blue. Then she felt a gentle breeze begin to rustle through her tiny green needles. The wind, I forgot about the wind. When I hear the wind coming, I listen very carefully and I scrunch myself down as low as I can to let it blow through me. I can feel it all the way from the most top branch to my very lowest branches. The littlest tree thought and thought about the many wonderful things in her world. Of course there's the rain, how delicious it feels on my needles, so soft and warm, smelling sweetly of grass and earth. I know I'm lucky to have the rain, and the sun, and the sky, and the wind. They care for me and help me grow tall, but I do wish I would grow faster. And the littlest tree waited and dreamed about becoming a Christmas tree. Sometimes the littlest tree leaned over to listen to the grown-up trees talking to each other in the nearby woods. She learned that when they grew taller, trimmers would come with their clippers to carefully shape her tree form. I won't be afraid when the trimmers come, she told herself. I know that I will be shaped to become a beautiful Christmas tree with my very tip-top reaching high towards the heavens. Christmas trees must be a lot like people, thought the littlest tree. People who are good and strong look up to the heavens for strength and encouragement. I will look up and stand patiently until I'm tall enough to be chosen for Christmas. She called out to the sky, please choose me. I'm ready for Christmas celebration. I am ready for the season of lights and life. Ever so quietly, the little tree thought, but what if I'm not chosen to be a Christmas tree? There must be lots of things I can become when I am tall. She decided to think about some of the many possibilities for her life. 
Maybe I could be a shelter for animals to hide in my fluffy branches. Perhaps a rabbit or a squirrel would stop for an overnight stay. Or I could be planted near a family's house, and little birds will nest in my soft needles. I know my friends the chickadees would love to stay with me for the winter. They could fly from my branches to the bird feeders and window ledges, and then fly back to me for safety. The littlest tree was filled with ideas jumping from branch to branch as she thought about the many things she could become. Maybe I could be a window frame and hold shiny glass in my arms. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? There are so many possibilities to think about, said the littlest tree excitedly. Then pausing, she said, but today I can only grow and become the very best right here where I am planted. I will feel the sun and the sky and the wind and the rain, and I will think about how wonderful it is to grow just for today. At last, the littlest tree understood the joy of being a Christmas tree can be found in each and every day. Standing patiently in her row of seedling trees, the littlest tree looked up into the dark starry night and whispered, Thank you, dear creator, for life. Thank you for dreams. Thank you for ideas and thoughts and feelings. Most of all, thank you for choosing me to grow just for today and to know the wonder of your world and its many possibilities. Please pray with me. O oh, Creator God, thank you for showing us the sacred amongst our daily lives, living and growing into who you would want us to be. Amen. Please join us now in singing Angels We Have Heard on High. To share with you this morning the scripture reading which tells of Jesus' birth according to the Gospel of Luke. In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the lineage of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. Let's sing the carol that captures the mystery of the manger scene, Away in a Manger.
Here as Luke continues the story of Jesus' birth. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to us. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those whom God favors. Let's join our voices together or if you prefer to listen to the carol, Hark the, An Hark the Herald Angels Sing. I invite you to join me in a prayer. God of new life, by the birth of Jesus, you have brought light into our darkness. Shine in our lives. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for ministry. God of life, God of new life, nothing will ever separate us from your love. Give us faith to trust your promise. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for living fully. God of life, God of new life, you call us to serve the hungry, the poor, the lonely, and the outcast. Show us how we can respond. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for service. God of life, God of new life, Jesus was born into poverty and lived under oppression. Open our eyes to injustice and inspire us to proclaim your reign. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for the work of social justice. God of life, God of new life, by the birth of Jesus, bring your healing to those in need especially those we take a moment to name now before you. George. Kevin. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for healing. God of life, God of new life, inspire this congregation to reach out beyond our walls, beyond our fears, beyond our past. Help us to welcome your future. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for our unfolding mission. God of life, God of new life, by the birth of Jesus, you have brought light into our darkness. 
shine in our lives. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free to reflect the sacredness of our lives. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, who is our light, our life, our hope, our joy, our love, and our peace. Amen. Our worship band has prepared a song called Noel that we'd like to share with you now. The song features Janice Burris on piano and on lead vocal, Melanie Madigan on keyboard, and on uh, as a backup vocalist, Kathy McCullough was on drums, and yours truly on electric bass. I hope that you're fed by the power of this song. Star and angels gave the sign Bow to babe on bended knee The savior of humanity Unto us a child is born He shall reign forevermore no no come and see what God has done no no the story of amazing love the light of the world given for us no son of god and son of man there before the world began Born to suffer, born to save. Born to raise us from the grave. Christ the everlasting Lord. He shall reign forevermore. No.
This Sunday, like all Sundays, is an opportunity for us to celebrate and give thanks for the generosity that's been poured out by you. And we also invite you to continue that support and think about a gift to the church. It may be that it's something that has been so important to you throughout the year that you want to affirm how much and how important the church is to you. So you can, you can contribute to the life of the church by writing a check and putting it in the mail. You can also go to our website. There's an e-giving uh, option there. And all you need to do is click on the giving button and it will take you uh, to the electronic for option. There's also a way that you can text, um, but know that however you want to support the church, we will gladly receive your gifts. Let us pray. With these gifts, dear God, accept the praise and the thanksgiving of our hearts, which rejoice in your goodness and love. Let our gifts point to your presence in the world and further your dream for the world. Through Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, we pray. Amen. Now I want to share with you a few brief announcements. First of all, the church office will be closed tomorrow, Monday, the 26th, in observance, or the, uh, in observance of Christmas. Next Sunday will be New Year's Day, and we're delighted that we'll have the John Nielsen Trio here. This has been a, a tradition that we've enjoyed uh, throughout the years, and, and John will be here with his music. Um, and for those of you who, who don't know John, he is the brother of uh, Kathy Toma and Kathy and David will be here to provide a special reading. It should be a wonderful service and I hope that you'll join us next Sunday. It will be a hybrid service so you can either join us here in the, in the sanctuary or you can join on Zoom or Facebook. And now let's conclude our service today with the singing of the carol, Joy to the World. My benediction. In the beginning, the Word. The Word was present. The Word was God. The Word was present to God from the beginning. Through the Word, all things came into being. In the Word was life, and that life was humanity's light, a light that shines in the night, a light that has never been overtaken. Go forth to witness to this light, to the word, to the glory of God dwelling in us. Go forth to live in grace and truth, giving thanks to God. And together we say, Amen.